All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's open class. Today is May 25th, 26th, and 27th. And for today's activities, we're going to be starting with Unit 9. As you remember, last class, you were supposed to work on an exam and send me your results to senakehome at gmail.com. So I received some of them, and I hope that you can send me um, the ones that you haven't yet. So you can send them to the email until Wednesday. Okay, today we're going to be learning about jobs and categories. And we're going to be working with our students book page 105 and 106. Okay, so you're going to be listening to an audio also, and we're going to be also doing a lot of effort, right? Remember that effort pays with improvement. Okay, so let's look at the image that we have um, here. And it says, would you like to have this job? If you look at the image from your students book page 105, you can see that there is a woman who is creating fishnets. Fishnets are used to catch uh, sea animals or sea life on from the water. Okay, it can be like jellyfish, fish, any type of sea life. Okay, what are we going to do? I think that this job would be really interesting because it can help you with your motor skills like the use of your hands okay which i think is something that we all should acquire and now we're going to be passing to exercise two we're going to learn first of all what ranking means ranking it's when you classificate or when you put in a list something and we're going to have a classification of different things from the most important to the least important we're going to number them from one to five Number one is the most important, and number five is the least important. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, and five. The scale has to be from the most to the least. Let's check first all the things that we have. First, we have making a lot of money. Do you think that is something very, very, very important? So, so, whatever, or like not important at all when you apply for a job. Also, doing something that you enjoy. Doing something you think it's the most important, so so, not really important, or not important at all. Being part of a team, okay? Maybe some of you would love to be working with other people. Some of you would prefer just to work on yourself, by yourself. Sorry. Working close to home. What do you think? Is this something that you think it's really important or least important? Would you mind driving two hours to get to your work? Or would you prefer to just walk? Do something important with your life. This means, this could be considered like any type of activity that you say, this is important for my life, okay? I want to be important or do something important with it by helping others. Or I want to be important by creating a company. Or I want to be important by fighting against uh, sickness or helping the poor. It could be anything that you consider important with your life. So here we have the list of what is most important and what is least important. You're going to number them one, two, three, four, or five. In my case, if I had to choose one, maybe I would say working close to home, it's something that it's not very important for me. There are other things that are more important, for example, like doing something that I enjoy or doing something important with my life, right? So. This is up to you, this is all personal. Select the things that is the most important and the least important. So, now it's your turn, go. Hello guys, how are you? I hope you're doing great and that you are safe at home taking care of your family. So today we're going to be working on our student's book, page 105, exercise two. Right, so here are the instructions. Match the jobs with the correct description, use your dictionary if necessary. So before we start answering, I'm going to be reading each job one by one, and perhaps you can say it on your own out loud after hearing it. So number one says, software engineer. Number two, electrical engineer. Number three, nurse. Number four, doctor. Five, accountant. Six, high school teacher. Seven, chef. Eight, architect. Nine, dentist. And ten, lawyer. So you can start by reading the descriptions and then think of the job that is being described or you can read the jobs again and make your own description and then look for the one that is the most similar to yours. For example, let's pick doctor. 
We know that a doctor is a person that heals and prevents illnesses. So after making my own description, I'm going to say that the answer for this one is letter J. Of course, I, I arrived to this answer after reading all the sentences and well, this one is the one that is most, the most similar to mine. So number four is letter J. On the other hand, if you're at first the, the, yeah, the description, like, I don't know, design devices like smartphones, you can deduce the job that is being described. For example, it cannot be chef because, well, who knows? Maybe a chef knows how to design a smartphone, but it's not what their job is mostly about. So after doing this with the other jobs, I'm going to say that the answer is electrical engineer. So you can try doing this with the other sentences and jobs and take some minutes to answer it. You can pause the video if you need more time. All right, if, you, if you're finished, we're going to check the answers. So I'm going to read the descriptions and then I'm going to say the job that is being described or in other words, I'm giving the answer. So letter A says, designs devices like smartphones. We already saw this one and it is electrical engineer. B, gives people legal advice. The answer should be lawyer. C, helps people who are sick, usually with less training than a doctor. The answer is nurse. D, designs computer programs. The answer is software engineer. E, helps teenagers learn. And the answer is high school teacher. F, prepares and inspects financial information and money. Your answer should be accountant. G, designs buildings, an architect. H, provides care for people's teeth, a dentist. I, prepares and cooks food as a job, chef. And J, helps people who are sick, usually with more training than a nurse. As we already saw, a doctor. Great. So now I want you to look at this sentence and it says, A or an blank is someone who blank. So basically you have to pick a job and then make a description for that job. You can write it on your notebook or it's all right if you just say it on your mind. You just have to do it. Let's see an example for this. A chef is someone who studies to prepare, cook and present food in restaurants or other places where food is served. In this case, I picked the job chef and I made my own description. That is the one we just read. Another example is, a dentist is someone who specializes in the treatment of diseases and conditions of the oral cavity. Again, I picked a job, in this case dentist, and I made a description for that job. Okay, that is all you have to do. It is pretty easy and we'll keep working. Hi guys, how are you? It's teacher Danny again and today we're working on exercise number three. So let's start. Okay, there it says, rank the jobs from activity number two from most to least needed. Each dot stands from one country that needs workers for the job. Okay, I'm gonna help you with three of them, okay? And the first one that I'm giving you is number two, that is electrical engineer. Uh, they work with all the electrical system, for example, light bulbs, internet, and that kind of things. Number five is an accountant, and they administrate the, ac the economy all around the world, but also, they also help you on a personal way, and they tell you where do you spend your money. Number nine is a dentist. They help you and they take care of your oral hygiene and they prevent infections. So, now that I have been helping you, pause the video here, continue with the activity, and then uh, we will check the answers, okay? So, if you finish, let's check the answers. Okay, number one, software engineer. I think this one is one of the most important on our daily life because they work with phones, computers, TVs, uh, iPads, and without them, we wouldn't have homeschool and home office number three is a nurse they support uh sick people they gave them their medicines and they are on the process of the sickness number four um 
Okay, is a doctor. Uh, they work together. I mean, the doctor and the nurse work together, but the doctor here um, detects the injuries and they tell the nurse what to do so that the patient could improve on their sickness. Number six is a high school teacher. Uh, this one guide you to know what are you studying on your career and they also teach you a lot of things. I mean, they are teachers, they are important. Number seven is HF. I think this one is one of the less important on my opinion because you don't need your uh, chef on your daily life. Daily life. Uh, well, they gave you a variety of healthy food, but I think it's just that the thing that they do. Number eight is an architect, and they help us to build schools, hospitals, uh, houses, and that kind of things. And they also help us to um, have like a beautiful city. Number 10 is a lawyer. In my opinion, they are uh, one of the most important because they put the rules around the world. So they help us to have a security city and a security reward. So, we finish, finished guys, that's all for my part, I hope to see you soon, thanks for your time, please stay home, and I hope that you're having a great crime time, bye! Hello guys, welcome back to your English class, we are glad that you are here, today we're going to work on unit number 9, so go ahead. Work should be fun. Exercise number four. Students focus on page 105. Okay, instruction for number four, it says, look at this job, which category does each one to belong to? I'm gonna read all the vocabulary and then I'm gonna give you some examples to answer this part, okay? For example, a chief executive, firefighter, cleaner, paramedic, police officer, salesperson, manager, factory worker, construction worker, office worker and store manager um, for chief executive is basically the boy who runs the company okay is the head of the company okay we have another two difficult words that is manager and store manager maybe you know what is manage but the main difference between manager and store manager is that manager could be from a company from a singer from an artist okay this is a manager, okay? And a store manager is only the boy who is manage a sales company, okay? For example, talking about a Walmart, talking about a department store, this is a store manager, okay? Let's start with the categories, guys. Number one, it says uh, emergency service job. Uh, basically, it's the guys that you call when you are in danger, okay? I have an example for you. In this case, we have a doctor okay number two officer or desk jobs these is are the boys that only work in office okay or in a desk uh, for example talking about a ceo talking about i have an example right here my example is office assistant uh, this is an office or desk job okay okay number three traits um basically the this job uh, it's about the guys who had the hard work in a, maybe in a company, okay? Maybe in a factory. I put an example that is uh, electrician, okay? This is an example about trades. And um, finally, for number four, retail jobs. Are the boys or the girls that works in a store or in a department store? For example, I put, I put here cashier, okay? It's an example of them. So guys, it's time to work. As you know, you are going to pause the video and take your time to answer. But when you finish to match all of the categories with the jobs, you are going to have an extra example, okay? So take your time, good luck, and then we're going to check, okay? Go ahead. Okay guys, did you finish? Excellent, it's time to check. Okay, let's start with number one emergency services jobs okay number one police officer number two firefighter and number three paramedic 
and in this case you are going to write your example in my case was doctor for number two we have office or desk jobs okay so the answers are number one chief executive okay the ceo number two manager number three office worker and your example in this case my example was office assistant in number three we're going to talk about trades so for example in number one we have constructions worker the next one factory worker and the last one cleaner then you're going to write your example in this case my example was electrician and finally we are on retail jobs okay we only have two options here store manager and salesperson and your example in my case cashier okay so guys we have finished for today excellent i think that it was easy uh continue working and practice the vocabulary because maybe you are going to use in the future so see you in the next class have a nice week and goodbye guys hey guys so 9a work should be fun that's true work should be fun this is fun <laughs> so activity number five so work in Paris we're not gonna do that answer the questions use the phrases below okay so number one which of the jobs in activities two and four would you most and least like to do and why okay and number two are there other jobs not mentioned that you're interested in what are they so this is the activity that you're gonna do um, okay let me read you the list of jobs in activity number two okay so we have software engineer electrical engineer nurse doctor accountant high school teacher chef architect dentist and lawyer well and in activity number four it says chief executive firefighter police officer cleaner manager salesperson construction worker, office worker, store manager, factory worker, and paramedic. Right, so, I'm gonna explain to you part number one of activity five, okay. In part number one, it says, which of the jobs in activities two and four will you most and least like to do, and why? Well, the jobs in activities number two and four, I just read it to you. It's in page 105 of your student's book. And this activity, you're gonna do it in your notebooks, okay? So, in your notebooks, you're gonna write activity number five, student's book, page number 100, 105, and you're gonna choose, well, you're gonna enlist the jobs in activities number two and four, and you're gonna write which one of them would you most and least like to do, and why. You have to put why, okay? So, you write all that down. Okay, that's activity number one. For example, well, I don't think I can give you an example. Okay, for example, all right. Um, in activity number two of those jobs, the most the, the job that I would most likely to do will be software engineer. Okay, and why? Well, because I like um software and programming all the stuff and i will be an engineer okay and the least one that i would like to do will be i think will be a nurse i don't like um being a nurse i wouldn't like being a nurse because it, it is hard and it's just not for me okay so that's kind of what you have to do with everyone okay in activity number two and four now, part two. Okay, in part two, it says, are there other jobs not mentioned that you're interested in? What are they? Okay, now, we have two sentences here. The first one is, I like to be A or N because it's A or N, interesting, exciting, fun, well-paid job, okay? And I wouldn't like to be A or N because it's a dangerous, boring, difficult, and low-paid job, okay? Now, you cannot use the jobs in activity number two and four, okay? You have to come with another job, right? You have to search for another one. So, I'm going to give you an example. 
I like to be a programmer because it's a well-paid job or it's a well-paid job all right so a programmer is uh, the person that makes codes for computers to run things like a rabbit for example I wouldn't like to be a I don't know um, a janitor janitor because it's a boring low pay job okay so that's my example you have to come with another job that it's not in activity number two and four and also you know put it in your notebook okay so that's gonna that's gonna be your activity huh so remember to write activity number five students book page 105 because teacher Mariana will check that okay now I think that's it uh, see you guys be safe all right you are doing an excellent job in this part now we're gonna pass to the last exercise which is listening the listening it's about Julie and Thomas and we're gonna discover what they have to say about jobs the main question is what is important to Thomas okay now the instructions are very simple I'm gonna be playing the audio twice I recommend that you not pause it okay make sure that you can listen to it carefully identify the main ideas to discover if Thomas prefers a job that makes a lot of money that is adventurous that is funny or any other options that you have there are five different options okay so let's prepare to play the video put on your earphones if you want your headphones as you wish and I'm going to start now track 53 look at this picture that's such a cool job that's a job what's he doing well he's a science photographer and explorer so yeah he's doing his job he's taking photos of honeybees at a lab his work might help us stop their populations from getting smaller I'd love to have a job like that doing something interesting that can help make a difference that would be so cool I know what you mean but not many people can have that kind of job most people need to work at a normal job you know a construction worker or manager or something so how do you get a job like that let's see I'll Google him okay here he is let's see it says he was interested in science as a young boy by the time he was a teenager he decided he wanted to be a scientist and he'd already had a job working in a fish shop before he started university wow so is it too late for me I haven't decided exactly what I want to do yet well it says he hadn't worked as a photographer before he got a job as an assistant photographer he learned that later and now that's a big part of his work so it may not be too late for you yeah I guess his job needs a lot of different skills and he's learned them by trying different things. I don't think I'd want to be away from my family so much. So what job would you like? I'd like a job that pays well. I don't care if it's boring or not. I wouldn't mind going to college, but I don't want to study for more than four years. So I don't want to be a doctor or a lawyer, definitely not a vet, too much work. I think work should be fun. It should be an adventure. I don't care what I do so much, but I don't want it to be boring. And I wouldn't mind helping people. Maybe you should consider a job in the emergency services. Paramedic, firefighter, police officer. I'm sure those are exciting jobs. Yeah, they probably are. I don't know. I think I want to do something different. Not me. I want to do something safe. All right, so I hope that you got the information. If not, don't worry. I'm going to be playing it right now at the count of three. So prepare your ears and go. Track 53. Look at this picture. That's such a cool job. That's a job? What's he doing? Well, he's a science photographer and explorer. So, yeah, he's doing his job. He's taking photos of honeybees at a lab. 
His work might help us stop their populations from getting smaller. I'd love to have a job like that. Doing something interesting that can help make a difference. That would be so cool. I know what you mean, but not many people can have that kind of job. Most people need to work at a normal job, you know, a construction worker or manager or something. So how do you get a job like that? Let's see. I'll Google him. OK, here he is. Let's see. It says he was interested in science as a young boy. By the time he was a teenager, he decided he wanted to be a scientist. And he'd already had a job working in a fish shop before he started university. Wow. So is it too late for me? I haven't decided exactly what I want to do yet. Well, it says he hadn't worked as a photographer before he got a job as an assistant photographer. He learned that later. And now that's a big part of his work. So it may not be too late for you. Yeah. I guess his job needs a lot of different skills. And he's learned them by trying different things. I don't think I'd want to be away from my family so much. So what job would you like? I'd like a job that pays well. I don't care if it's boring or not. I wouldn't mind going to college, but I don't want to study for more than four years. So I don't want to be a doctor or a lawyer. Definitely not a vet. Too much work. I think work should be fun. It should be an adventure. I don't care what I do so much, but I don't want it to be boring. And I wouldn't mind helping people. Maybe you should consider a job in the emergency services. Paramedic, firefighter, police officer. I'm sure those are exciting jobs. Yeah, they probably are. I don't know. I think I want to do something different. Not me. I want to do something safe. Okay, so we learned that Thomas and Julia are completely opposite, right? Referring to jobs. So let's look at the things that are important for Julia are the things that are important for Thomas. In this part, I wrote all the things that you have in your book. It says adventure, fun, money, safety, and staying near a family. If you look at, the, at this side, I put some images of Julia and Thomas, okay? So if you were able to complete this part, good job. If you haven't completed it, pause the video and then you can check with us, okay? So let's check the first one. Adventure, of course. Julia wants something that involves adventure, okay? She's like, oh, I want to do something amazing, uh-huh. Fun, also Julia, she, Seems to be like someone who likes to take risks. What about the money? Okay, Thomas says, or I quote what he said exactly. I don't care what job I would have to do. I want to get a lot of money. Okay, that is Thomas' interest. Now, something that is safe. Thomas also wants something that includes safety. And finally, staying near family, Thomas, okay? Thomas wants to stay near his family, be close to them, have time to spend time with their parents or with the children in case that he is very old. <laughs> so now we're going to go to the next exercise because we're going to be listening again. I'm going to play it just one more time. What do you have to do? There are three options for the statements that they mentioned. You can write true, false, or not given. Remember, what is so important about not given? You cannot suppose that something is true only because you imagine it. No. Remember, the purpose of these listening activities for your FCE when you present it is that you learn to identify only the information that you hear, not what your experience tells you. So we're going to listen one more time. Prepare because we're gonna be completing these statements, okay? I'm gonna be going one by one, so you do it and then we check. Good job. So let's prepare, go. Track 53. Look at this picture, that's such a cool job. That's a job? What's he doing? Well, he's a science photographer and explorer, so yeah, he's doing his job. 
He's taking photos of honeybees at a lab. His work might help us stop their populations from getting smaller. I'd love to have a job like that, doing something interesting that can help make a difference. That would be so cool. I know what you mean, but not many people can have that kind of job. Most people need to work at a normal job, you know, a construction worker or manager or something. So how do you get a job like that? Let's see. I'll Google him. OK, here he is. Let's see. It says he was interested in science as a young boy. By the time he was a teenager, he decided he wanted to be a scientist. And he'd already had a job working in a fish shop before he started university. Wow. So is it too late for me? I haven't decided exactly what I want to do yet. Well, it says he hadn't worked as a photographer before he got a job as an assistant photographer. He learned that later. And now that's a big part of his work. So it may not be too late for you. Yeah. I guess his job needs a lot of different skills. And he's learned them by trying different things. I don't think I'd want to be away from my family so much. So what job would you like? I'd like a job that pays well. I don't care if it's boring or not. I wouldn't mind going to college, but I don't want to study for more than four years. So I don't want to be a doctor or a lawyer. Definitely not a vet. Too much work. I think work should be fun. It should be an adventure. I don't care what I do so much, but I don't want it to be boring. And I wouldn't mind helping people. Maybe you should consider a job in the emergency services. Paramedic, firefighter, police officer. I'm sure those are exciting jobs. Yeah, they probably are. I don't know. I think I want to do something different. Not me. I want to do something safe. All right, so we're done, right? If you haven't completed them, pause it and write them. If you want to check with me, let's start. The first one says, Yulia would like to travel for work. Is this something true or false or not given? It is true. Number two, Thomas has traveled a lot. We could suppose that he hasn't because he likes to be safe in his house near his family. But this information is not given. Remember, we cannot suppose. So the answer is not given. Number three, Yula hasn't decided exactly what job she wants yet. This is true. She's, she quotes many, many times like, I don't know, I'm not sure, I haven't decided yet. Thomas says, if you want to have a job like Anad Parma, you can do it. And this can be the two options. It can be true or not given. Why? Because Thomas gives a lot of little details about this in the audio. But at the time, or at the same time, there is no complete evidence. There's like 50-50. Five. Thomas would like to have a job like Anand Parma's. What do you think? I'll leave that one to you. False. <laughs> okay, this is not true. He doesn't want to travel and take photos all around. Thomas says he would like to be a doctor. This is false. He preferred, I think he mentioned something about being in an office or something like that. Seven. For Julia, it's important to have an interesting job. What do you think? This is real. This is true. And there is a lot of evidence about this. She mentions it over and over again. Eight. Julia thinks Thomas should consider being a paramedic. Mm, false. It's the opposite. Thomas thinks that Julia should consider being like a paramedic, a firefighter, a police officer. Number nine. Julia wants to make a lot of money. We don't know that. She never talks about the money. And number 10, Thomas wants a job. That's very exciting. Mm -mm, he doesn't. He just wants to be safe. <laughs> okay. I hope that you learned a lot today and discovered different classifications about jobs. So I wish you all the best.
and I'll see you all here on Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. Have an amazing day and an amazing week. Thank you for your time and thank you for all your efforts. So, see you next class. Bye-bye.